Now we're inside the deck arena, and this was the only arena at the time. We'll get into the Anzoil in a little bit. Dan, I bet you have umpteen memories of things, of performances, of shows that went in here, because I do. Well, 20 years of shows. And, you know, I think it'd be hard pressed to find somebody in the Northland that doesn't have a memory of being at a country show, rock show, circus, mm -hmm. something, a graduation here in or, Deck Arena. Um, the monster truck show where they have the Coca-Cola on the floor. Or when the monster used. truck twice, we don't have monster trucks anymore, because the last time they put a big hole in that wall, Oops. It actually went into the hallway and into a bathroom, so that was the last Monster Trucks. Well, see, he didn't go before he started the show. Right. That's what happened. That's what happened. So, um, so tell us about the, the, when did this start? When was this built? Well, we opened up on August 6, 1966. Huge celebration, something Duluth had never seen before. Which we'll see another huge celebration at the 50th and August 6th of this year. Yeah, it happens to be a Saturday night. Once again, uh, Vice President Humphrey was here. It's a keynote address. And this was a huge thing when you think that Duluth took an uh, old scrap yard and really a junk heap on the waterfront and turned it into a, a entertainment center and moved U of D hockey here and the symphony and all the events. And it was very controversial back then. It was a very close vote. A lot of people were against it, didn't think it would work. And here we are 50 years later. 50 years later and much, much bigger. Much um, Some of your favorite memories of this area here in the well, arena? Well, there's so many. Bob Dylan. To finally get him here after everybody clambered. Now, we've done three Dylan shows now, but the first one back in the 90s was a big deal. And, uh, yeah, you know, incredible coverage in the in the media, sold out immediately, and uh, it was great to get our hometown boy here. Absolutely, and then uh, I think the last time that he came, he was at Bayfront. He was at Bayfront Park. Yeah. Uh, he's been Bayfront twice. Uh, he was at Bayfront Park with Paul Simon, which was the largest show ever in Duluth history. We had over 20,000 people in the old park when it was old yellow stage down there. Yeah. Um, the bra, they used to call it. And that was the Megastorm weekend. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. And, and if you remember, yeah. and that night we had fireworks as part of the show, and that storm was moving in, there was just little pink glows up there. Yeah, it was so foggy. Yeah, it was just, yeah. Um, so how about, you know, you keep mentioning guys, what about some of the female acts that have come Okay, out? Reba McIntyre was in there. Oh, she's amazing. Okay, sold out house. Um, and our plumbing went down. Uh -oh. So we didn't have any bathroom facilities at all. Broke right in the middle of the show. We had served uh, a lot of beer that night and you can imagine what the road and behind the buses behind the deck were like that night. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, so you didn't have them bring in any of the little porta potties No, it was right in the middle of the show. Plant. The whole sewer plant went down, the pumps and everything. So, uh, <laughs> so Reba would have been in here. One of the coolest shows ever was Cher. I miss Cher. Yeah, Cher came out of our ceiling and she was dressed like a nun and, and was on, you know, tethered up, flying. So like Cher. And came down to the stage and off came the nun uh, costume and there was Cher for the show. So, a lot of women acts down here. Yeah, oh, I can imagine. So, yeah. yeah, many, many years. Now, um, well, who was the one, who were the, Winona, the Judds? Oh, yeah. Were here. Naomi and... Right, and... Uh, the, young, daughter act. the younger one gave this great God-fearing uh, show and, and whatnot while she was sipping on vodka. And then she ended up closing it on Superior from numerous reports that night. I'm sure some of your yeah. listeners saw her. So. Yeah, yeah. That's, we, we chose not to ever talk about that night again. Right, so. okay. <laughs> I think you were there. Uh, I did. No, well, maybe. That's uh, not going to be sad. We're not going to talk about that. So um, the other thing is, is of course the, the circus, and then of course you've got the home shows and the travel, that, and and it utilizes all this space plus the additional space that you have uh, built since then. So yeah, I mean we really don't. We have multiple events all the time, so it's just great to have that flexibility that we can have a hockey game, and we can fill the towns with robotics, you know, con contestants and teams in here, and and uh, we can have hockey and curling, can have a bond spill going on, and we can have a father daughter dance in the ballroom. I mean, that's what the deck's all about. All while Bentleyville is going on, well, and Bentley there's Bill. thousands of people going through that, too. And traffic is, we understand, and we certainly uh, understand how frustrating parking can be sometimes. But we always point out that, you know, that's kind of a good problem to have. That just means we're so busy. And I think if people would have, 25 years ago, would have been up in the top of the harbor at the Radisson looking down, and on December night seeing the interstate back to back, and it's, you know, plugged up, because of all the events in Duluth, they wouldn't have believed it. Exactly. 
All right, let's, um, why don't we take a walk and look at the harbor side, which is something that's new and possibly you haven't been to yet.